This is a good question. Heartache tends to push us into a corner and forces us to reflect and to take action. When things are going well, we feel a bit more comfortable and we do feel a bit complacent. We don't have that same sort of urgency to make changes or improvement because there's no problem there demanding our attention. Pain has a way of breaking us out of that comfort zone. It shakes things up a little bit, makes us question, and often reveals things that we have neglected or ignored about ourselves. Working on ourselves during tough times is a kind of a form of survival, a way to regain control and find meaning in the struggle. And it's something I personally have experienced. And it's why I started to dive deep into self-development. On the flip side, when we're happy, we tend to be enjoying the moment a little bit more and riding the wave, so to speak. There's less sort of motivation for us to address any underlying issues because everything seems fine on the surface. But that complacency can prevent us from growing and reaching our full potential. As the discomforts and the challenges, the obstacles that we face that kind of force us, like I said, to find ways to improve. And, you know, that's why I do what I do. I want to teach people that during those tough times and the discomforts and the challenges, there's always a gift there and a way to improve ourselves. But we shouldn't wait until the shit hits the fan to do these things. It's better to be a boxer than a swordsman, meaning you're better to have the tools at hand rather than being a swordsman and having to run off and grab your weapon to defend yourself. So make sure you are doing all these self-improvement things so when shit does hit the fan, you have the tools at hand to fight back and to continue on your journey.